The Georgetown men's basketball team opened the 2011-2012 campaign with a trip to China, touring the country and visiting historic places like Tiananmen Square and the Great Wall, and convincingly winning three of the games played. Georgetown men's basketball head coach John Thompson III wanted his young team to learn about themselves and to find out who they were as a team. The Hoyas opened the regular season with two dominating performances at the Verizon Down low, but jams on home. Left of the circle is Greg Whittington. Rebound, Hopkins, turns, fakes, puts it up, scores. He's at the post. Back and down, wide open. Jabril Trywick lays it up and in. Faking once and has the ball stripped away and controlled by Otto Porter. Outlet to the driving Jason Clark. Snowbird! Double team trapped, the ball stolen away by Trywick. Outlet to the driving Aaron Bowen. Reverse jam! In the team's opening round game at the Maui Invitational, it faced then number 14, Kansas. Thompson, Porter, and Clark each scored in double digits in a hard-fought game which Georgetown came up short, losing 67-63. But this game created a positive media buzz about the Hoyas. Georgetown certainly is better than a lot of people thought. You're right about Georgetown, Sean. I, I just think that they are dangerous. They're gonna get a lot better. Hoyas upended host Chaminade 88 to 61 in the second round, with Jason Clark scoring a game-high 28 points and Henry Sims dishing out seven assists. This win set up a fifth-place game against then number eight Memphis. Bounds, 13 to nine to stay in it. Fowler, that's a great gifted passer. Hands off for Clark to fire it. And Sims will back down. Left it shy, got back and made sure that time. Sims down low. Yeah, Simpsons go to work. That's a scoring position. No foul there. The fade away. Can't knock it down. Followed up and in by the freshman winning 10. Right there. For so the we're heading to overtime. Tied at 70. He gets it every time down. Here's Porter. He drills it. Memphis involved with another fire burner. Here's Clark. Got it. A three pointer. Line. Down to three seconds left. Here's a long one. And just nicking the iron. And that's how it ends. Georgetown returned to the Verizon Center and dominated IUPUI 81 to 58, extending its winning streak to three games. To Porter, that finally falls. But he has stayed hard on him at times as Sims drives in. Clark, that's a three. Higher first half, so they've got 21 already in the second half. Another excellent back. As we said at the top, 10 of the 13 players for Georgetown are either freshmen or sophomores. Here are their first road game. They've been a bunch of neutral games. First road game playing against a ranked team. What a victory this would be. Well, and, I, and it's funny because as you're saying first road game, I'm thinking about that trip to China where they did have the brawl. It was a great trip overall culturally and otherwise. But John Thompson said, we literally had our backs in that one game in China where the brawl broke out because our team got closer together. Plus, all these freshmen got a chance to play on that trip. This looks like this looks like they want the ball in Star in uh, Jason Clark's hand. Starks will inbound. And I'll say this: Georgetown is very good against pressure. and the nation's fourth longest home winning streak comes to an end. The Hoyas return to the Verizon Center for a four-game homestand. Jason is the ninth player under Coach John Thompson III to reach 1,000 points. Rebound Coach put up by Adams, up strong again, scores. Right for Georgetown, Caprio lays it up and scores. Right. Steal by Aaron Bowen, he's gonna go down for eight. Lay up and he scores. Starts deep three, got it, or he gets it off to Henry Sims. Henry turns, down low, Hollis Thompson, reverse layup, no whistle foul. On the auto corner, left baseline, Hollis corner three. 15, six. Down the lane, Clark to the rack.
comes up with Markel Starks. He's got to bring it back out. He said, bring it back yeah, out. On Jen. Now it's Clark right to the rim. Starks launches. Hits another. Bad all night down low. Sims and Jen. Oh, look at the great club without the ball. Great coach of kids. Great coach of kids last year. Sims up another. There's Porter with the putback. Spin, catch, and shoot. Georgetown knocks off Louisville, and the remaining unbeatens were down to five. Sims now in the ball game, cuts it to 64-59, swings it out on top to Hollis, into the right corner, baseline jumper, good, 66-66 to Henry, Henry drives in the lane, lays it up and in, 68-66 Georgetown, what a comeback for the Hoyas, Henry puts it to the floor, holding, holding his Sims, gets it down low to Jason, lays it up and in, 15 on the shot clock. Henry takes it down the lane. Left sideline. Hollis for three. Got it. Oh, my. A three for Hollis. It's 73-70 Georgetown. And they will beat Marquette tonight. After dropping games at West Virginia and Cincinnati, the Hoyas rattled off back-to-back -back road wins and defeated Rutgers in the closing seconds at home. It's Thompson down low quarter. Back out to Whittington to run some more clock. Thompson for the open three. That possession pretty much sums up the afternoon for the Hall. And they wind up beating St. John's by 20. Jason Clark. Hollis Thompson with a three. Come on. He's charismatic. Sims. <laughs> well, it's a one on one. Yeah. Lane violation in one on one. Oh, no. Boy, if you're the ball now, everything's going against you. Following a loss at Pittsburgh, the Hoyas bounced back with two significant wins at the Verizon Center. Takes it down the lane against Drummond. Oh my! Oh, Sims backing in on Drummond. Gets it down low to Hollis. Reverse lap is good. Right penetrates. Down the lane. Puts it up block. Back on the top to Hopkins. Hopkins drives down the lane. Plays it up and scores! Takes once right side. Whittington. Up of the three. Got it! Out on top. Swings it left side like Henry. To the lane. Oh my! Playing their hearts out and coming up just short in overtime at Syracuse, the Hoyas rebounded, adding two more Big East wins. Clark drives in the lane, kicks it left side, wide open, Lubick for three, got it! Cheek taking it down the lane, puts it up, has the ball blocked by the Hoyas. Facing, going over the man to man. Thompson dumped down, Jason Clark lays it up and in! Lubick inbound, sideline right to Hollis, down low, Chowick lays it up and in! Hollis a 2 on one break, Hollis to the rack, lays it up and scores! Right side, Markell to the short corner. Markell dumps it down to Henry, lays it up and in. Goal in the first half. Sims at the elbow. Step back three for Clark. Yes! 
Jason Clark tickles the line. Henry spins across the lane. Henry takes up a hooker and scores! Hart top the circle. Drives down the lane with a floater. Missed it off the window. Tipped up and in. Top to Henry. Henry at the elbow. Dumped down to Jason. Lays it up and in. The Hoyas completed the regular season 22-7 and overall and 12-6 and in the Big East, earning a first round bye and a five seed in the Big East tournament. There's Porter. Oh, was there the last one. Porter able to bank it in, nicely done by Otto Porter. Tough angle to use the window. First one. Did not score. Three pointer is good. Yes, in this instance, great post up. Henry Sims shows you his numbers. Talib's on a play and straight behind. Great communicator on the defensive end, making sure his teammates know where guys are. Then the facilitator, as you said, their leading assist guy. Yeah, I can score it too. Shoot, he can do in all different kinds of things to impact and affect winning. And forget about Lynn's sanity. We want a little sim sanity. He's a senior. He's a senior, and he knows what we want. And he does a pretty good job on the block also. Because he's such a good passer, people talk about his passing, but he's come to the point where they had to double him in the post, which then opened everything else up for everybody else. The Hoyas faced Cincinnati in the quarterfinals of the Big East tournament and came up just short in a double overtime thriller, 72 to 70. Otto Porter hit a jumper at the end of regulation to send the game into its first overtime, and Henry Sims made a buzzer-beating layup to send the game into double overtime. Sims racked up his second double-double in consecutive nights, scoring 22 points and grabbing 15 rebounds. The Hoyas would turn their sights to the NCAA tournament as the three seed in the Midwest bracket. In to in goes Clark again. His team needed a lift. They had not been hitting their threes, but the good cross-court pass gave them the look. Sims is just too strong in there. Georgetown's having none of it. Look at that. Georgetown wins the three seed. It's the better of Belmont. Georgetown advanced to take on NC State in the NCAA tournament round of 32. After the Hoyas cut an early second half deficit of 11 down to three, NC State extended the lead back to seven with a minute left. Behind a three-pointer from Thompson and a layup from Sims, the Hoyas pulled within one ultimately falling 66 to 63. The 2011-2012 Georgetown men's basketball team finished the season with an overall record of 24-9, the best record since the 2007-2008 season. This marked the Hoyas' third consecutive trip to the NCAA tournament and sixth trip in eight years under head coach John Thompson III. After being selected to finish 10th in the Big East during the preseason, the Hoyas posted a 12-6 conference record, ranked 15th in the final national top 25 poll, and finished in the top five of the Big East. For Henry Sims and Jason Clark, it has been a great four years on the hilltop. Sims enjoyed the best year of his career as a senior. He finished third on the team in scoring, second in rebounding, and led the team with three and a half assists and 1.4 blocks per game. Sims was the only player to rank among the top 15 in the Big East in both assists and blocks. This season, Sims, all Big East third team, was selected to participate in the NABC All-Star Game. On the hilltop, Sims amassed 94 career rejections, which ranks 19th all time at Georgetown. Clark has played in every game since arriving on the hilltop in 2008. He finished his career as a Hoya ranked 20th in all-time career points scored with 1,363, 17th in all-time career steals with 170, and 4th in all-time career three-pointers made with 183. As a senior, Clark was named All-Big East First Team, received the Big East Sportsmanship Award, and was selected to the NABC All-District Second Team. Thank you, Jason and Henry, for your leadership at Georgetown both on and off the court. Hoya Saxa.